Reform POCT, Cervical Screw System, Surgical Tech Guide Video. Step 1. Polyaxial Screw Placement. Once the desired entry point is located, perforate the cortex of the bone with the awl. There are two options for drilling. You can utilize a fixed drill guide or an adjustable drill guide. The adjustable drill guide is adjusted by pulling back on the proximal end of the guide and twisting the gold lock to the desired length. Use caution when drilling and make sure the fixed drills are used with the fixed guides and adjustable drills are used with the adjustable guide. All drills are 1mm undersized in diameter. Next, verify the integrity of the pathway created by the drill with the ball tip sounder and verify the depth with the depth gauge. Now select the appropriately sized bone tap. While tapping, note the laser etching on the side indicating depth. All taps are 0.5 undersized. Assemble the preferred size and length of polyaxial screw to the polyaxial screwdriver. This is done by placing the hexalobular fitting into the head of the screw and screwing the outer sleeve of the driver into the tulip. Proper assembly is confirmed by the crossbar being flush in the tulip. Once the screw is placed, the height can be adjusted with the adjustment driver. The tulip heads can be lined up to receive the rod using the tulip manipulator. Step 2. Rod Placement First, determine rod length with the rod template. Next, select the proper rod size. If the rod needs to be cut, utilize the rod cutter. If the rod needs to be bent, utilize the rod bender. Use the rod holder to then place the rod within the screw tulips. Step 3. Rod Reduction There are four methods for rod reduction. The rod pusher is used by aligning the rod in the indent of the pusher. Pressure is applied to reduce the rod into the tulip. The rod reduction gun is used by placing the gun over the tulip rod construct. The reduction gun should be secured and locked onto the tulip. The rod is then reduced by squeezing the trigger. Once the desired reduction is achieved, lock the handle in place. Once the set screw is delivered, remove the gun by releasing the lock and fully opening the lever. The rod tower reducer is used by placing the tower over the rod tulip construct. Reduction is achieved by twisting the black knob on the proximal end of the tower. Release the tower from the tulip by squeezing the tabs on both sides of the tower and pulling up. The rod reduction rocker is used by placing the rocker over the tulip rod construct. The rocker is secured to the tulip by sliding the notches at the distal end of the rocker underneath the tabs on either side of the tulip. The rocker is then maneuvered towards the rod to reduce it into the tulip. Next, deliver the set caps using the set cap driver. You can use the single-sided cap screwdriver or the dual-sided cap screwdriver. Step 4. Final Tightening Final tighten each cap screw by assembling the counter torque wrench to the desired polyaxle screw and insert the torque driver through the torque wrench barrel. Rotate the torque driver until a clicking is heard indicating 27 inch-pounds. The compressor is utilized by straddling the two tulips you want compressed. One should be final tightened and the other loose. Once the desired compression is achieved, final tighten the loose set screw. The distractor is utilized by placing the arms of the distractor between the two tulips you want distracted. Step 6. In-situ rod bending is achieved with the in-situ benders. Step 7. Cross connector attachment. First measure to determine the size of cross connector needed. There are two types of cross connectors that can be utilized, rod to rod or head to head. The rod to rod connector is attached by fully seating each hook on the rod. Now rotate the cross connector inserter 90 degrees clockwise to fully engage the cross connector cam to the rod. Final tighten the midline cap screw by rotating the torque driver until the torque limit of the modular torque handle is reached. Only the midline cap needs to be final tightened. Do not final tighten the two lateral caps. The cam mechanism is fully locked when the cap has been rotated to the lock position. The head-to-head -head cross connector is attached by fully seating the cross connector over the tulip rod construct. Next, insert the head-to-head -head cap screw into the tulip. Final tighten each head-to-head -head cap screw. 
Now insert the head-to-head -head locking cap with the head-to-head -head locking cap inserter. Final tighten by placing the head-to-head -head counter torque wrench over the tulip and attaching the torque handle to the head-to-head -head locking cap inserter. Lastly, final tighten the midline cap. Thank you.